So bigger change in knee flex, more side bend. Just going to run it through to impact and match it up. Head's not drifting forward as much. You're releasing the head a little bit more. You're starting to get more familiar with that right leg and what it's doing. So the swing on the left with you at the start of the process yesterday with driver after working on controlling the knees. Yeah. Now, obviously, we'd have had you up at the start of the session just with your driver. It wouldn't have looked anything like it looked on the left. But you can see your first swing with driver yesterday, there was very little change in flex of the knees. Therefore, a limited amount of side bends created to offset the extension that you're going to create. Try to stop quick on the left. On the right, we're just swinging through. We've hit a few shots off the deck. The reason we're hitting off the deck is so that we can regulate the extension, the flexion. Trying to recover the shaft, keep the arc. So the constant, or not constant, but certainly return the club to roughly where it was at address. Uh, some people will comment that hitting driver off the deck steepens your angle of attack. You can't hit driver airborne off the deck if you've got a steep angle of attack it levels out your angle of attack. So it stops you hitting up excessively. All right, so you could argue that going from hitting up six degrees to hitting up two is steepening, but it's not a steep angle of attack. Yeah, you can't get the ball up in the air with nine, 10 degrees aloft if you've got a severely steep angle of attack. So it's actually leveling out your angle of attack. It's teaching you to recover the shaft so that when the ball is on the tee peg, Instead of getting the occasional low face contact like you were getting yesterday, you can start hitting the ball a little bit higher up on the face. Yeah, but I had, yesterday I had everything there. 